right, this is uh, this is the same day. I know I said it was going to be next week, but it was the same day. Um, I'm playing the game called Rope that I told about you in the croquet video. Uh, it was around like back in the 1900s. The mallet handles are short, as you can see, they're like about 18 inches. Got this off of the internet. Um, the balls are made out of rubber and they're and they're white and. You play it on a smooth gravel because I've got the cord all made up now, and it, w it was also additional and the uh, it, it, it featured heavily in uh, Stephen King's novel The Shining, and uh, you know it's also played in Chautauqua, Illinois, and a couple places in Florida and in New York somewhere in Angelica uh, Village. And it was a very big sport back then, so I'm gonna go play a little game of it. Follow me. Get the cord all made up. Uh, the basic idea of the game, these little X's are supposed to be the hoops because I can't mount them into the ground. Uh, in croquet, there's about nine hoops. In, cro in roke, there's eleven. And... That's too easy. I'm going to aim for this. Ah, so then I'm going to aim for that. Now, the rubber piece is for little short things. I'll show you when I do the rubber piece. See, it gets me where I want to go. And when I do the bank shot, it rolls it to where I want it to go. Now, the rubber piece is for short hits, like this. See the rubber piece over there? See how you don't even make a sound? It's for soft hits. And the hard side is the wooden side. The The colors in Roke are white, black, red, and blue. Unlike the croquet, there's green, black, orange, yellow, red. And six primary colors. I just wanted to get this on here. I really don't know much of the rules. I'm still looking them up, but I just wanted to show you that I that I knew this game and just show a little more of it. And then I did see a video about Roke on the internet underneath of living in Ch living in St. Louis, Chautauqua, and they had a featured part of Roke where the man was like this and he used the mouth and the thing. They didn't tell you much about the rules though, but uh, on the thing, but I, I, I kind of looked it up. And I do know that it's played in innings. So I'm giving you a little bit of history on it. It was Olympic sport once. Um, there are a few road courts around. There, there, I know of two new ones. There's one in uh, St. Petersburg. That's right. Uh, there's one in St. Petersburg in Florida. for these mallets and I have one in the house but it's so rare to find I don't play with it so I took a broken croquet mallet handle pounded it into a ripped up head and got a rubber piece and I just kind of made my own. The ones in the house it's really real and uh, but I don't play with it much. But, uh, so I just made it. I've seen them on eBay a few times so I've tried to bid on a couple of them but I never won. Um, I usually 
usually lost because, you know, so many people want to get them out. But the one I bought off of some website called Asti. So, you know, that's about it, about what I want to show you. Nothing really to it. Nah. The fact that it's kind of a cool game because you never see anybody play this. And, uh, that's about it. And if you didn't catch the croquet video, I want you to check underneath of, uh, where is the justice in our videos and you can hear more about our stories that we're going through. And we really need help with it, please. Uh, next week will be bocce ball. Uh, please and thank you. Please watch it, subscribe to us, and don't forget to comment. Thank you.